Seiko have been a partner of the IWF for 30 years. You know, we're here for the long term. And part of our job is not just to, to measure the performance of the athletes, it's to push athletics forward into the future. And for us, that means technology. So we're always looking for ways to make improvements in the systems of timing and measurement. And this is just one big step forward. Well, the main change for us this year is the field event boards are now totally made up of video screens. So before, you used to have little dots that would flip backwards and forwards. That's how you got the different colours. So sometimes black and yellow. We had other boards that only had four colours on them. But these are completely video, so they're like any TV screen or big screen that you see at stadium. So we can now show um, a much more dynamic... Um, information and completely full colour so we can have any colour that we like so that's the main change for us. Before we had the two-sided boards that rotated but now we've got uh, three sides which don't move. The thing with field events are it's, it's supremely complicated and quite often there's seven field events going on at the same time and the spectators don't know where to look so these boards will hopefully um, improve the information that each spectator can receive and they'll be able to keep up to date with what's happening in their favourite events. We've been developing these boards for two years now and the main launch is in Moscow at the World Championships but we cannot just take them to the World Championships, we have to bring them to other events and this is the first event that we've had the ability to test them in the field, see what they look like, have them linked into all the other partners that have to to relate to these boards so it's not just Seiko it's the results partner as well so this is a very important testing moment for us. In the last five or six years we have seen big changes in technology we now measure long and triple jumps using a video based system as well so you won't see anyone at the side of the pit with a tape measure or a prism or anything. It's all measured behind the scenes electronically. So that's a really big step forward. It's, it's quite complicated to do, but we're, we're delighted that we can offer these services to the IAAF. We've redeveloped our whole starting system. So that's the start blocks, the start console, the way that we show the waveforms, and also the gun sound that the athletes and the spectators hear. hear. So we've redeveloped the sound digitally so it's much more clear and distinct, <laughs> as we just heard. And uh, so hopefully everyone will be able to, to fully engage with the process if they can hear the start sound wherever they are in the stadium. Photo finish is so key to the event, you know, you can't have a track event without photo finish. And um, a lot of the innovation has happened sort of 10 years ago, so the system is a very stable one, there's not a huge amount of improvement year on year, but one day we will find a new way of doing it. And maybe that will be um, transponder technology, where every athlete has a chip in their bib, they do that now, but the timing base is not accurate enough to give you the official time, which is why we still use photo finish.